Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a fabulous day with the people you love. Um, I personally will be enjoying like a movie maybe with my friends and sisters, but I hope you guys have a great, great time and eat lots of chocolate. I think a lot of you have probably already seen this tag before, but I'm going to be doing the anti-boyfriend tag. So let's just get started. Question number one, what is the one most important quality you look for in guys? I think it's guys who are really ambitious and motivated and just know what they want to do with their lives. I think that's so attractive. And guys just who are really talented, like talented, motivated, ambitious, that's perfect. I love guys who are like that. Number two, what quality is a turn off? I think guys who are kind of immature, I don't know. I feel like guys who don't know what they want to do with their lives or they don't have something that they're passionate about, I just don't find that really attractive because I'm like, well, if you don't have your life together, then how do you expect this relationship to work? Or like, I just can't see a future with you, you know? Because if you don't have your own future planned out, then it's, it's not gonna happen. And like for me personally, I'm a person who has my whole future like i always have plans and goals and i hope to meet someone who also has that number three what physical feature do you notice on the opposite sex first um to be honest it's eyes i like guys with big big eyes um if you watched my k-pop tag video you probably know i have like a type kind of so yeah definitely guys with big eyes i love that number four describe your dream date Okay, I'm really boring, but I think having a picnic and then like bringing foods that um, we either made together or like he made or I like I made, um, I just think that'd be so, so cute. I think picnics are adorable and yeah, that, that'd be my dream date. It's simple, but it's cute. Number five, who would your celebrity boyfriend be? Um, that's pretty easy. If you see my K-pop tag, then you know the answer. Um, I kind of can't choose between Chanmin from DBSK and Minho from Shiny. I just kind of can't choose because I love them both so much. But I guess it'd be Chanmin because he's my number one bias and I love him so much. I hope this lighting is okay, guys. Um, I'm like trying to test out lighting. The background's pretty, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and if I should move and have like a brighter lighting it's i'm filming at night so. so number six what is your relationship deal breaker or something that you might end a relationship because of uh i don't know i guess if my friends and family don't approve of the guy i'm dating then that's obviously a sign that he's not the right person for me because i really value the opinions of my family and friends and i feel like they would know what's best for me because i don't always listen to what's um logical or like most reasonable so definitely if they didn't prove he's gone number seven what is your relationship deal maker something you would like a guy to do in a relationship um i mean there's not too much i think having someone that i can be really weird to or like be really open with someone who i can tell my deepest secrets to honestly that's it like a best friend um as long as I feel comfortable around you and that's not very easy because I have personal space issues and like um, just sharing personal information f for me is really hard so if I can find someone like that that's a deal maker number eight what eye and hair color do you prefer I, I mean like I don't really look at people's eye colors very often um, I think probably just brown just because like blue eyes are really pretty but they're very they're very shocking to me. Like when I see people with blue eyes, I'm like, wow, like, wow. So I, <laughs> I think I, brown eyes are more familiar with for me. Um, but hair color, I honestly don't care. Blonde, brown, black. I think blonde is like, if you can pull off blonde and you're Asian, then like good for you. Uh, I like caramel brown. I think that's a really cute color. Number nine, he buys you a gift. What would it be? Oh gosh, I guess I really like books. Um, or if he made me something that's like, I like DIYs. Um, I want to say I don't want any food just because I'm always trying to not indulge in food. <laughs> so don't give me any food or chocolates, please. But, oh, okay. I think it'd be so cute. It's my dream, my secret dream to have like my boyfriend buy me a locket 
or like、um, a ring or something that is just beautiful and classic. I just would, I would wear it all the time if he bought me one. So I guess something like that. Number 10, would you say you have a type? If so, what is your type? Oh, yeah, okay, we've already discussed this. My type is, well, based on my K pop types, I guess he has large eyes and he's tall and rather skinny. But in real life,、um, the guys I like tend to be a little bit more on the feminine metro side. They're usually a little bit sassy,、um, they're dressed well, they have nice hair. just... Guys who some girls might consider to be really feminine, or they might not, you know, I don't know, I just, you know what I mean, right? Like really metro guys. I think, I don't know, I'm just really attracted to them, which is really sad because at Berkeley, most of them turned out to be gay, and it's just so disappointing. I'm like, oh god, of course you would be. You're too good for me. Oh, okay. Well, that's all 10 questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I had a lot of fun doing this. And I hope you guys will do this tag too. And I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Showing hot night wind was blowing. Where you think you're going, babe?